We discussed air level mathematics paper six, probability and statistics two in May or June of year 2020. The length in centimeters of a random sample of seven leaves from a variety of trees are as follows. We are given the length of seven tree leaves. So n is seven. Part A, we need to calculate unbiased estimates of the population mean and the variance of x. The unbiased estimator of the population mean is the sample mean. And the unbiased estimator for the population variance is the sample variance. In order to calculate the unbiased estimates of the population mean and the population variance, we need to find the sum of x and also the sum of x squared. The sum of x squared is the square of all these values and then add it up together. You can actually use the SD mode in your calculator to compute sum of x and sum of x squared without having going through the trouble of squaring all that values. The sum of x is 34.7. The sum of x squared is 175.15. The unbiased estimates of the population mean that is given by the sum of x over seven. And this is 34.7 divided by seven, which is 4.96, to three significant figures. The unbiased estimate of the population variance. You can actually use this formula in the formula sheet. So your sum of x squared minus the square of the sum of x over n. n is 7, yeah, 1 over 6 here. Sum of x squared is 175.15 minus the square of the sum of x. We have 34.7 squared over 7. And this comes to 0.523. That will give us the unbiased estimates of the population mean and the population variance of x. Part B, it is now given that the true value of the population variance of x is 0 0.55. The true value of the population variance, so sigma squared, is 0 0.55. And x has a normal distribution. So we know that x follows a normal distribution. Mean is unknown, but the variance is 0 0.55. We need to find a 95% confidence interval for the population mean of x. To find a 95% confidence interval, we know that the sampling distribution of the sample mean, this follows normal with mean mu and the variance is 0 0.55 over your sigma square over n over seven here. So that would be the distribution of the sample mean. And to find the 95% confidence interval, for the population mean of x, that is given by x bar plus minus 95%. So we have 0 0.05 divided by 2. That is 0 0.025 here. And we multiply this by square root of your sigma over square root n. That would be the formula that we use. And we know that sigma squared is 0 0.55. So sigma over root n here, this can be the square root of 0 0.55 over 7. The critical value, we can find this critical value from the standard normal table. So we have a tail area 
of 0 0.025. If this is 0 0.025, this part here is 0 0.975. We look at this from the critical normal table and we find a C score of 1.96, which is the critical value with a Q area of 0 0.025. We do not know the mean, we use the mean we found in part A, which is 4.96. Then we have plus minus 1.96 times the square root of 0 0.55 over 7. And we get an interval from 4.41 to 5.51.